think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid Lately communication feels so useless Savage If we don't got that obsessive love then what are we doing? I don't ask so much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden I tell you how I'm hurting, no You just take your story to take your day I ain't over it What's up? We back for another message here this morning. It's currently 8.04 a.m. on August 20th, 2024. You should see the cat. 63 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly sunny here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? All right. Let me just pull this back a little bit. Adjust the shirt. Do your thing, baby. All right. Got to show a little bit of it. There we go. All right, y'all, so we're back with another message here. Uh, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope everybody's doing well. Spray some Florida water. Ah, okay. All right, so just like to ask Archangel Michael to clear out the energy for this uh, message in this reading so I give a clear and concise message and reading for the collective. I'd also like to return to sender 10 times fold, guided with love and light, things that do not belong to the collective in me. So more to be, some more to be, some more to be, and so it is, okay? I like to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all your hustling demons go deaf. And I'm talking deaf, okay? All right, so if you really want to know how somebody feels, like what people really kind of feel for you, think about uh, think about how everybody everybody knows something that you should know and nobody tells you. Like everybody's in on something. Everybody knows the secret, but nobody bothers to tell you anything about what is going on around you, with you, people in your family, whatever. Now, what I just heard is that sometimes, uh, so with certain situations, so say like, for instance, if you have a, you know, there's like a conspiracy or some type of plot or plan to, uh, to eliminate you from an equation of life, okay? Let's just say like you're, you know, you got a group of friends or family, they've all ganged up together to to do something bad to you, whether that's to take your life, get you locked up, to steal from you. And all these people around you know this secret and everybody's just playing like it's like Truman Show. Everybody's playing a very particular part to make sure that there's a desired outcome on the, that, that, is, that is not to your benefit. Some people I just heard <clears throat> know and did the right thing Maybe they contacted law enforcement. Maybe there's an active investigation. And maybe that's the reason why people could, they couldn't tell you, you know, so that's something to consider. But moreover, you really have to kind of consider how, how many people probably know, know what's going on with you or knew what was going on with you and didn't bother to even try to put you on any type of game. They just, they just kind of let it go. Like they, they were a part of it. They, they chose, they chose to, to, to play their part and didn't say anything to you. Um, I got another confirmation real early this morning when I got up. It's so funny because like when I wake up within like five minutes, so there's a video that's uploaded and it's like, yeah, I got to watch it, huh? Yeah, it's a confirmation, but it's something that I already knew. So what what am I what am I pretty much getting at is the fact that. Uh, it's it's, you know, when I when I got the comfort, it's, it was it was really kind of visceral this morning for me. You grow up with people, they're your brothers, they're your sisters. And, you know, I've said this before a million times, like, man, you know, growing up, um, growing up, I, I had an older sister. I had actually, no, I had two older sisters and an older brother. My older sister, you know, from my mom and then my god brother and my god sister were just like my brother and sister. I didn't know, I didn't, I, we didn't say God brother, God sister. We say, we would say brother, sister. And so growing up like that, you know, it was, it was, that was my family. Um, but to like, you know, it is, you know, and I'm thinking about it right now, it is very, it's, it's, I'm sad about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, 
I don't feel good about what I've what I've known or what I've intuitively kind of picked up on and what I've seen with my own eyes, what I've experienced. And it's sad. It's sad as fuck to me. You know what I'm saying? Confirmation. You grow up and you look like these people. You you talk like the like like my, my god brother. We look a lot alike. We talk alike too. You know, it's very kind of we grew up together. These are my people, you know what I'm saying? And so to know that to know that there has been some effort on his part or all of their parts where they knew something and didn't tell me. That's not love. That's not love at all. It's not love at all. And I'm not saying that I'm and, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they don't love me. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that there's a very there's a very there's something else other than love that they that they felt for me because you got to know with what's been going on with me the way that people have not stood up for me the way that people have not came came to my defense or aid or just to help um, is 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 nothing is nothing short of the the perfect the perfect evidence of what people have known and uh, yeah I forgive them you know I forgive I really do and I and I want people to you know. Cause you got you guys hear me, you guys hear me talking a lot of a lot of stuff on this channel, you know, and I and I mean I mean what I say, you know, about a lot of people, a lot of people. To be honest with you, about I love I love I love people, and I and I and I love the life. I love life, but I don't overall like I don't I don't care like a lot of these people. I don't care what happens to them. That's facts. I don't. I love them. I offer them friendship. I offer them assistance. I offer them a lot of things. And I'm not one of those people that sit around and talk about what I've done for people. I'm just telling you that I did my part. Okay. I did my part in these people's lives and you know, whatever they chose to do with it after, you know, we separated because best believe every relationship that I had with people that I was close because I'm because I'm not one of those people. I've never been one of those people that just knew people to know people. You know what I'm saying? To me, that just always seemed like a big waste of time. I've always been a person that uh, really got in, like, I'm kind of like a hands-on kind of friend. You know what I'm saying? Not in that creepy kind of way. But I'm one of those hands-on kind of people where I become, I get very involved with people because that's just who I am. And, and to be honest with you, I'm not one of those people that is intrusive either. I don't pry. See, people come to me for assistance or for friendship, you know, and then, you know, and that's just how it is. And so, like, I, I became very attached to every single person that I've ever known. Anybody can tell you that. Anybody that's ever known me in my life will say, Dwayne is, a, you know, he's a good friend. Like, he's, he, hey, you, you need him? Call him. He's there. Uh, you need help with something? Call him. He's there. You need to know something? Call him. He's there. You need a place to, to crash or you need whatever you need, Dwayne got you. And so, um, you know, it ain't even always about need. It's about, hey, you want to, I'm just, I've always just been like that. I grew up in St. Paul, Minnesota, which is a very small city. And I always thought it was like a big city until I actually got out of here. Um, but it's a very, St. Paul is, is, is a lot different from Minneapolis for anybody out there that's ever been to in, in the area. Yeah, they're, twin, they're the twin cities, but Minneapolis is actually smaller than St. Paul. See, people think Minneapolis is the big city, but no, St. Paul is actually the bigger city of the two. St. Paul is the capital city of Minnesota. But Minneapolis has always been considered a lot faster. Uh, but St. Paul, although a big city, is very close-knit very clickish so to give you an example um my grand like my grandmother grew up in saint paul and so like all of my friends growing up we all like my grandmother grew up with their grandmother my mother grew up with their mother we grew up so on and so forth so we all know we we pretty much grew up as a it, it's a place where you grew up and you were either related to somebody or you were friends with their family. And so, you know, growing up, we didn't call each other like friends. We were like, oh, that's my cousin or, you know, that's my cousin's cousin. And so we, it, there's a culture in, in St. Paul that is really kind of sheltered. It is, it, 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 it you know, I, I feel like, I feel like it's a good, <coughs> excuse me. I really feel like out of, you know, it, for me, for me, it's a good, for me, it was good to, to have that experience because, um, it was different for other people when they met me. You know what I'm saying? They're like, wait a minute, this dude kind of weird. Like, you know, but it, it grew on people. Uh, just that kind of community, that sense of community, that sense of family, that sense of friendship. Uh, but I never, you know, I feel like a lot of people have since abandoned that approach 
to life and relationships, but I never, I never have. I, Cause I didn't, to be honest, I never really considered anything else. I would go to places and I'd be like, man, people are weird, man. People don't like, what's all this fake shit? Like what's all this people not really being your friends? And so like, I, I, I carry that with me throughout adulthood. It was a very big hindrance, but at the same time, it really kind of kept my intentions very pure is what I'm getting at. So, you know, everybody that I've come into contact with that I was friends with when uh, they, you know, did something that was a, a betrayal or they or they did something to hurt me. It was a big blow and devastation to me. It just it, it, it is and it has been what has been no longer is. But <clears throat> uh yeah, I mean, and I feel like that was a lesson in itself because God God had to show me like, you know, it's kind of like the, the country mouse going into the big city kind of story. Um, and even though I've been to a lot of big cities before, that, that naivete, naivete, um, that very kind of naive quality had always kind of stuck with me. So in a, in a sense, I guess I am kind of like Rose from the Golden Girls. <laughs> but it's it's. What I'm what I'm pretty much saying is that I've never believed in just being superficial with people. I never believed in just being fake and phony with people. If I'm going to be around you, if I'm going to be in your face, I'm going to be in your crib. If we're going to, you know, I never just thought I never thought that th there was never either we're, we're friends or we're not. That those levels, you know, how people go, <clears throat> well, that, that's an associate, blah, blah, blah. I never truly believed in that. I understand the importance of it now. But when I have to really kind of consider like, damn, like all these people that were supposed to be my people were supposed to be my close friends. They really weren't. I was the only person that really kind of sat around and really kind of thought that I was really good friends with all these people. And I wasn't. And that's sad. The ones that I was really good friends with, they passed away, to be honest with you. The real ones, they're gone. They died. They, they you know, and, and I don't really feel like that was <clears throat> I'm not saying that these people died because, you know, of me or like you know what the things i got going on but there's something to that there really is especially if like how the attacks go you know and i and i you know i just it's it's i'm pretty sure i, I did see somebody in the comment section say that about one of their best friends that their best friend <clears throat> somehow that what the only person they could trust somehow died and they felt like it was it was a part of like it was done on purpose and i don't i'm not gonna say that i don't because i don't know what is the energy that I feel? Oh yeah, I feel like spiritually, yeah, spiritually the enemy will want to uh, will, will want to weaken your you know your community. You know they want to weaken you know the 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 the, the people that stand by you, the people that are gonna have your back. Because one day I did wake up and I realized like damn, I wish I could call. Oh, they're not even alive no more. You know, and if there's one person in the world that I know would have my back, damn, they're gone. And so like it is a part of the enemy's plan because. Not just for you or for me, but you got to realize that the people that you, you, you think of to call on that would have your back and they're no longer there are probably just like you as well. So they could be considered somebody that was like a light worker chosen or very important for your path. The enemy will try to eliminate or will eliminate the people that you can go to when you're feeling lonely, when you're feeling isolated, when you need some comfort so that you can turn to the dark side or that you can feel more alone and so that you can give up on God. You know, th that's what the enemy will do. But one day, you know, it really dawned on me this morning, like I was I was listening to this message and I was like, man, I was like, these I knew it. I knew it. And it's always been people become very kind of A lot can change a person. You know, a lot can change someone. When they uh when money gets involved, when uh adoration gets involved, you know, sometimes people get especially siblings or family members, but siblings moreover, um more or less, they get they you know Especially if people feel like, you know, you're getting favored, favor when favor comes into play. People get very kind of upset about that. They really do. They become very, very angry and it changes things. You know, I, I, I sit and I consider everything of, as far as my brother is concerned, my God brother. And he was somebody that I always looked up to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he was bigger than me, played sports, you know, had went to college, just had he just seemed to have his really his life really kind of put together. You know, he had. All these opportunities that I wish that I could have taken advantage of, but I wasn't like him. I didn't play sports. I didn't, you know, I wasn't into athletics. And, uh, you know, 
just kind of seemed our lives were very similar but very different uh, but on the flip side of that you know he would always tell me like you know damn i wish i could do some of the things that you can do and i never really kind of considered anything other than that i just kind of feel like we're brothers so like if i do something that you don't do or you do something i don't do shit, that's what we're here for you know what i'm saying but things change with people things really do change and we can't we can't take that personal although it is very personal it is very personal you know what I'm saying? It is. It's, it's a personal thing. These, these, the feelings that people have are very personal. But we shouldn't take it personal. We can't take what other people, how other people feel about who we are, or what we do. We can't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? Although it is hard to do that. We should. We should not. We should not internalize it. There we go. We should not be internalizing the negativity that people bring. You know, feel for us because of who we are, what we do. I mean, it's personal, so we're gonna feel it. I mean, you know, when people say don't take it personal, yeah, we, we initially we take the only the only the only the only time that we have to tell ourselves don't take it personal is when we feel something and we're like, wait a minute, and then we have to say, well, no, no let me not even take that personal. So we're gonna feel things, but we don't internalize them. A lot of times, people internalize things that are external; they ain't got shit to do with them. You know, who we become in life. The things that we have to offer the world, the talents that we have, the insight that we have, that light that we have, that that's so external to other people. But people internalize these things because they don't possess certain kind of gifts or qualities. And that's not your fault. It's not even their fault. It's just that everybody has their own lane. And I feel like a lot of times it's hard for people to accept that. It's hard for people to handle that, especially when it be, when it comes to like a family dynamic. Because in a family dynamic, people feel like, well, if they can do it, then I can do it. No, that's not how this works. You may want to do it. You may even try to do it. But is that, where you're, is that your true calling? And sometimes even in a family dynamic, two people can do the same thing or the same kind of thing without it being a, a competition or without it being toxic. But here we go. Family dynamic says, nope, only one of you can do what the other one is doing and one of you better do it a lot better than the other person you know instead of just supporting one another we have to ruin each other and that's not even just in the black family unit it's it's all across the board jealousy envy all exist across the board you always have siblings or relatives that grow to you know very kind of a very vitriolic kind of energy or, or actually you know just energy it very it's very vitriolic um it becomes and it festers and you know turns into resentment then that turns into because then there's no then that's when the love comes i mean i don't like i say i will never say that people don't love you from my from where from where i sit because if you hate if you if you hate somebody you've had to have loved them at one point you know if you if you're jealous or you're envious of somebody it's because there's something about them that you admire that you do not possess right but it but it does grow into to, to things that are that become very toxic and very dangerous and there's nothing that we can do about it there's something that us uh, uh, sassy the bunny says that i that i truly uh that puts everything into perspective for me it, it does every time she says it your family is your uh, your first enemies these are the first people that become your enemies from the time you're a kid from the time you're a child you have so you have a fucking toy that your brother or sister wants. They they snatch it from you. They hate you for it. They hate you because they want that. You know, they, there's a constant competition. Somebody wants to be better. These are the people that are your enemies. This is this is this is your first lesson on how to deal with enemies. But see, uh, we we get blinded by the fact that we love these people that we allow certain things to slide or we overlook certain things or maybe we just feel like it's normal for people to do the things that they do and it's not. Nonetheless, 8.28 on the clock, 8.22, A. Hey. Nonetheless, uh, you know, it's very, it's sobering. It's sobering, yet, you know, every time I get a confirmation, just like I'm sure a lot of y'all, when y'all get your confirmations, what do you do with that? I don't know. 
I don't know what any I know I know what I do. It's just kind of like was I angry? No, nah, because I already knew. That's why I was saying earlier in my last upload about, you know, I see I already see things. Sometimes I feel like I'm waiting on the world to catch up. But everything in divine timing, just because we see certain things doesn't mean that they're actually supposed to happen the way that we see them, but I've known for I've known for a few years. And it's sad. It's sad because again, the same people that I feel like have come up again, or they know, not even feel like. Let me let me let me stop saying that because I when I say I feel like, it's like me not wanting to make people feel, you know, not wanting to call people out or make them feel bad. And I'm not even trying to do that, but I know what I know. People have done. It's very hard because, like I said before, um, these were the people that I felt like I felt like if I never if I if I ever needed help or like extreme not just like hey let me borrow a couple of dollars no if i was ever in any type of extreme danger or at a, like a dire situation these people that i call my brothers or sisters or cousins would be the people that i thought i would be be able to count on and that's not the case and that's sad it's 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 not i don't feel good about that at all um am i am does it dictate my days hell no it doesn't does it dictate theirs Probably so. I'll be right back. All right, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. So we got the, <clears throat> I did was just playing around with the cards here. I'll be using the Light and Shadows tarot, tarot cards. These ones here. Okay, we got the Five of Swords out here. So we're talking about uh, something here. The Five of Swords talks about by any means necessary. It's masculine energy here. Or is it? Got the feminine up there. I don't know. But the Five of Swords talks about backstabbing. It talks about playing to win, uh, bullying. Let's see. I like to do you know, the lovers, the Six of Cups, to the Queen of Swords here. Six of Cups is in the reverse too. So yikes. <clears throat> A Gemini from your past, from your karmic past. A Gemini, clarified by the Queen of Swords here. Um, an air sign anyway. So we got the lovers, Six of Cups here to the Queen of Swords. So we got a Gemini here from your past that is uh, trying to win by any means necessary, bully you, stabbing you in the back. Let's look up something else here. <clears throat> Being defeated. Saying goodbye, having possession taken away, being defeated, experiencing a setback, giving up the win, letting go of hope. <clears throat> so you might have been you might have recently experienced some type of loss or accepted some type of defeat or a setback. Okay, I kind of feel like, well, let's just see here. But I'm, I'm talking about this Queen of Swords here. The hangman. The truth of the matter is, he, is that you that you're probably waking up to who is doing this now, or this would be your confirmation, or you could be stuck. What's the next card here? The moon secret coming out. So you are being enlightened about who is experiencing who who is the cause of this recent setback here. You could be the Gemini as well, though. You could be the Gemini that is maybe uh, tr has been traumatized, okay, by some type of setback. We'll get one more. Yep, the princess of swords. Somebody. One more. The Magician. Let's get an Angel Whispers card out here. Somebody you taught how to do magic? Somebody, the, the Page of Swords is a student or somebody that watched you do magic. I don't know. They got the moon out here again, so they could have did this shit last night. I don't know. But the Queen of Swords talks about uh, somebody who's a truth teller. Some type of truth about your karmic past. Not that you're karmic, but Six of Cups talks about generational curses as well. A Pisces. Yikes. Okay. 
secret secret comes out about who's been somebody's been it's kind of like a baby witch somebody younger than you be open to receiving you do not you do be open to receiving you do deserve to receive so you have experienced something in your past that has that has set you back that has gave you know been some type of loss been some type of defeat okay but keep that in mind collective whoever's watching that could be just an oracle general message for somebody out there that need to hear that shit okay uh but this person let's use the tarot of okay thank you spirit Gemini, though, could be a lover as well. We do have lovers out here, but it's in the upright. I can't really see. Well, Gemini. Let's just say Gemini. We're not going to go there, okay? Let's get the rest of the story here. But so the moon in the reverse talks about uh, seeing through the illusions. Or this could also very much mean that you are experiencing some type of or coming out of some type of depression or some type of fear. Okay, with the hangman, it seems like you might have been stuck. Stuck and stagnant in maybe some type of delusion or fear or some type of mental health issue. Or it could just be you were stuck in some fucking magic done by this person, this younger person. Now the now the princess of swords to the magician, that can also talk about like you know, being monitored spiritually. But I but I don't know why I, I, I initially heard somebody you taught how to do magic. Somebody that watched you. I don't know, let's see. What's wrong with people? This could be your. This could really be your child. And I, I you know, say what you want to say. I know what happens. Here. Three of Wands to the Empress in the reverse. You're not expecting it. It's your mother or a sister, somebody with some kids, or a Libra, Taurus, probably a Pisces too. Like I said, number three there. It's 10.50 a.m. on August 20th, 2024. 70 degrees, mostly cloudy here. Tell us about this Empress to the Three of Wands. Empress in the reverse to the Three of Wands, please. Queen of Swords again. Truth and clarity, though. Let's see. This is some type of truth about your past. <clears throat> a curse. A curse. A curse. A curse. A generational curse, but a curse. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. Nope. Five of Cups in the reverse. The devil to strength. This is a truth about your mother or, or something or some type of Pisces. Your mother could be a Pisces. But there's a truth coming out here. Somebody cursed you when you were a kid or something like that here. But your mother or an empress energy in the reverse is expecting this truth to come out. <clears throat> 
the truth about why you were taken away from your father or why your father left this is the secret here spirit says that's the damn that's the truth four of wands in the reverse you could have grown up uh, displaced maybe you don't you know okay I get it now With the Five of Swords here, it's like somebody really, really by, was really trying to keep this secret from coming out. It's about your mother and your father. Okay? Your mother. I don't know. Okay? Your mother. Or Empress in the Reverse could also indicate somebody that's not your mother. Clarify the Empress in the Reverse. Let me see if we can get anything out of this. Somebody, somebody. Tell us about this Empress in the Reverse here. Two cards came out. Somebody's been spying on you, watching. It's Prince of the Princess of Swords here. Somebody needs to check their spam box. That's weird, isn't it? Maybe somebody's hacking into you. Somebody's lying about their age. Somebody's lying about your age. I heard your age. Somebody's about to come clean. Yikes. Whatever is about to come out about your mom, okay? With the three, with the three of wands here to the Queen of Swords, that talks about it, it, you should expect some type of truth or clarity here, something that has kept you stuck, okay? And with the ten of wands here to the five of cups and both of them in the reverse, is very good energy saying that you'll be able to release this heavy burden and stop being stuck and crying over things of the past, crying over spilled milk from the past here. You you have been uh, under some very strong demonic attachment, so I'm picking up maybe some drugs, some some type of strong toxicity though. I mean, you've been in poverty quite possibly. King of Pentacles to the Hermit. Some, it's like clarify the, the king of pentacles to the hermit to the hermit please page of wands you're about to receive some type of communication from a from a from a virgo a king of pentacles virgo i don't know i don't know the moon again Seven of Swords to the Moon to the Queen of Pentacles to the Will of Fortune. This is about you. I feel like this is about your mother. Okay, I feel like your your father. Maybe your father, the ghost. Maybe you haven't heard from your father. Uh, maybe your father ghosted you. But I'm picking up on the fact that this King of Pentacles, somebody ghosted you. About, I feel like your mother lied to you about what happened between, like who your father is or what happened between you and you and her, her and your father. Because then we got here. Uh, we got the Seven of Swords, which talks about deceptive energy, being somebody lying or stealing or just being slick as fuck. And then we got the moon here. There's somebody's being deceptive about a secret here that they've been keeping. Some, your mother, Queen of Pentacles here, has been keeping secrets from you. And this has put you at the bottom of the Wheel of Fortune. This is all starting to make sense now. I'm getting God bumps too. Your mother has been spying about, spying on you. Somebody's lying about their age. I heard your age, so I don't know what that could quite mean. But what caught me here is like, at this card is like somebody's being drugged away. And this card, this card came out right before the King of Pentacles here. You see that there? Like this person's being drugged, 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 drugged away from this King of Pentacles, who is your father. 
because there goes the Queen of Pentacles here, your mother. So we're talking about a couple here. I feel like your mother has lied to you about why your father left. Why this, like your mother might've told you that your father left, ghosted you guys. You see, again, waving by. You might not remember, but you're gonna receive some type of communication here from this man. You have been under some type of manipulation. Let's just say manipulation since you were a child, princess of swords to the magician. You have been under some type of manipulation based upon what you saw, what somebody taught you or told you because swords represent communication as well. But the, the princess is really, is really kind of revealing about, you know, the magician here. You could be, you, you, your nickname could be princess. Your dad could have called you princess or something. Your daddy's little princess. But there's, there's a secret that's coming out here about and i'm telling you somebody's about something here somebody's about to come clean your mother has lied to you about what who you are i feel like because this is six of cups from the past the things you do not and this could also mean something that you don't remember you're about to get clarity on you're a gemini mm -hmm. all right so i'll say i was gonna pause it but yeah let me go ahead and pause this real quick so i gotta check something here i'll be right back four 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 on the clock as i say that okay one wow more. So, check your spam box. I got it now. I'm getting God bumps too. This, this man has been trying to find you, has been trying to get in touch with you. Check your spam box. That could be check your mail, check your email spam box, maybe check your, so your Facebook social media account, Instagram. You know, some messages can be filtered. <coughs> I feel like with the magician here, the Page of Swords, your mom is also somebody, somebody is hacking into your devices. Somebody has access to your electronic devices here and they're manipulating something. They don't want this man getting in touch with you for whatever reason. We're about to find out though, okay? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload, you feel me? Time to go for a walk, okay? Nobody told you guys today. I love you. Okay? It's important to hear sometimes from somebody who actually really means it. Okay? I feel like your mother's been lying to you about a lot of things here. Okay? And we're about to find out why. Well, your, your dad's a king of pentacles. Yeah. So... He's probably loaded. Tell me why this mother. Tell, tell us, tell us, tell us what's going on here. We'll be using the Phantom Wise Tarot for this one. <sighs> the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, they took some money from you. A, whole, a huge savings, probably. All right. Your mom's been hoarding money from you. You probably grew up i mean at the you you were at the bottom of the will of fortune at the hands of your mother that is so sad when i i, I you know this could and, and the fact that this empress is in the reverse means that this may not even be your real mother this may not be your real mother you know what i'm saying this might be somebody who took care of you this could be like an auntie this could be like a foster mom an adopted mom uh, but this is somebody that may not even be your biological mother but you were taken away as a child. You were taken away. I'm getting God bumps everywhere, you guys. Wow. Okay. What is this? The Wheel of Fortune again. Somebody's been keeping. So I don't, like I said before, I don't quite know how this works. Because why? Let me just keep going. I, f I feel like this father has been looking for you. You know, a lot of things happen when people are younger and people have a, you know, God can convict somebody's heart or maybe I just, I just, this is, I I'm getting God bumps. I do believe, and I'm starting to get a little sad too. Jeez. Wow. Let me breathe. I 
I haven't turned this card over yet. We will here in a second, okay? My thought is this. I, 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 don't, feel, I don't feel like parents... So somebody could have been young. I don't know. But I feel like you were ripped away from your father. Like you were taken away from your father. So let's say, for instance, your mother... Let's say your mom took you away from your dad, okay? What I'm picking up on, okay? This is just what I'm hearing. Your mother maybe took you away from your dad and went her separate way. Maybe he went his separate way. And maybe your mom got started a whole new life or took you away. Y'all just went away. Or maybe both you and your mother were taken away. So, you know, you would know better than I. Or maybe you wouldn't. Maybe that's why you're here. So what I'm hearing is that, yeah, you were kind of ripped away from your father by someone. Some way, somehow, you ended up with somebody that's not your mother. I don't know what happened to your mom, okay? But what I was going to say is that I don't, I don't really think that parents that really care and love because some parents don't care some people some parents are just uh you know they drop the seed and and then and, and, and you know some some people are just like fertilizers or what it's sperm donors and some and some women are just carriers for children to come into this world and so they, there's no type of bond or emotional attachment there for anybody Whoever took, so what I'm pretty much saying is that I don't really feel like parents forget about their kids. Even if they're not in their life, good, good people, good parents, no matter how, what the situation looks like, even, 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 even if you, let's say you have a dad that never was there for you or never took care of you. Everybody has a backstory. There's always a reason why, and it may not be a good reason, but there's always a reason why somebody wasn't there okay sometimes as it, even when it comes to men i know that i've met a lot of good guys who fought tirelessly to be a part of their ch their child's life and it was they just were met with obstacles after obstacles after obstacles and finally they just said you know what i can't they'll have to find me when i'm when they're grown when they're older because some people make it very hard for that for people to be a part of their children's life and vice versa it happens to women too but i'm speaking from a male's perspective you know sometimes we gotta because you know and take this how you're going to take it but there's only so much you can fight to, to to be a part of a child's life before you realize like I, I'm, I'm not going to win this Sometimes you have to withdraw and just put it in God's hands, surrender to the most high and say, when, when it's time, they'll be brought back into my life. Or maybe, you know, when things get a little bit better, because you can fight, fight, fight. And, and then you, what you realize is that by the time you get done fighting, you may not have anything to give spiritually or financially. That's how I like to look at things. And no, it's 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 not it's not right. It's not right. You know, there's a lot of not rights going on here. I just heard somebody don't didn't lost their rights. So somebody could have lost their rights. So whoever this person whoever whoever this person that took care of you, this person had you at a very big was was mistreating you. Will of fortune in the reverse. I mean this bitch looks mean. She looks mean. I feel like I feel like you don't I feel like maybe you you believe that this person that 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 raised you is your mother, and I'm telling you that this person is not your mother. I feel like whoever your father is has probably tracked you down and has been looking for you. So there must have been some type of relationship, or you know, like I said, you know, sometimes it's like some people. Maybe maybe you come from like a small town or something like that. This I feel like this father is able to track you down, the chariot. Okay. What's the chariot? <clears throat> I just heard nobody likes a snitch. 
whatever that means. Nine one nine on the clock. Tennessee could be very significant. Now that's North Carolina. I don't know why I keep saying Tennessee. Nine one nine is North Carolina. Eleven eleven. So North Carolina is significant. Could be very well. Eleven eleven. Damn. I haven't caught that on the time like that in a minute. So something good. Some, something good is coming for you, whoever you are. You're about to. I feel like you're about to get some type of answers here. Five of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Whoever this person, whoever this person, whoever this person that raised you is very, very cruel. This person could be a cancer. Whoever this woman is, is a cancer. You got the four of swords to the five of pentacles. And what I'm seeing in these pictures is like, do you see this person, this, this young woman laying there with a knife? It's like maybe you with the six of cups here, you might have suffered some type of abuse. You might have felt like you had to protect yourself. Look at that there. This person didn't. It barely took it, and, and, and I feel it's and I and, and so when I'm talking about like the seven of pentacles here, this could have been like you know somebody that was a foster mother that maybe you never knew that you were even in foster care, you know what I'm saying? That happens to people, I don't know, but this person kept some money from you or whatever they were supposed to, you know, maybe there was like maybe you were receiving like child support from your father, maybe you were receiving like from a trust, I don't know, but this lady mistreated you like a lot now take the energy as it resonates I'm going off of what I'm picking up the energy I'm picking up on and from the image of the cards but this could really just mean that this person really really left you out of receiving money like they just they left you out of the code they left you out in the code okay with this four of swords here too something about there's something about this here, okay? The, the Knight of Pentacles here. Ten of Wands, man. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands here. To the Ten of Swords, to the Sun. Here goes that Pisces energy again stuck. There's something. I'm, I'm what I'm picking up here is that I I believe that I believe that you probably were told one of your parents or your parents were dead or something like that if, if, if you do know that you weren't raised with your biological parents or at least or somebody told you that your father was dead here they lied about it they lied about your mother be why you're there's, there's a huge lie coming out about I don't feel like your mother is with us anymore your mother I feel like your mother passed away and you don't know this. You were you do, you don't remember it. There's something that you could possibly remember though. I'm telling you that because the six of cups in the reverse talks about trauma. There's something that you don't remember because something traumatic happened. And you've been told your whole life like one story and it's not the truth. It's kind of like, you know, um, you know how you walk around and it, and it's like you something's this way. There's like a heavy weight on you. Like you don't know what it is. You don't know where it's coming from here. You could have you could have gotten involved in a lot of drugs and alcohol to a lot of toxicity. 
this five of pentacles represents being left out in the cold or something here yeah i don't really feel like this woman was like very nice to you either okay she 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 i'm not i'm not seeing that she was like she was just kind of stern kind of mean a little bit but there was something that you felt like you needed to protect yourself from i'm, I'm heavily picking out picking up on that too but the sun in the reverse <clears throat> to the ten of swords to the knight of wands here it's like that's young energy here i feel like your mother died prematurely thank you holy spirit your mother died prematurely your mother died too soon something happened here what else it, but you're going to be receiving communication now so check this out so we're back on this so let's say for instance so maybe this you're going to receive some type of communication from your father now your father may not be alive either because we have the, the knight of wands the knight of pentacles here which would be like a younger version of your father and then we got the knight of wands here which would be again younger younger energy here so Somebody could have died in an accident. A car accident. I heard a plane crash. Okay. Somebody's parents died in a plane crash. Somebody's parents died in a plane crash or a parent died in a plane crash, but I'm seeing both of them out here. Whoever, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all parent one of y'all parents died in a plane crash or some type of accident. You heard the confirmation when I said plane crash, okay? And I said that because of the eight of wands fast. And then we got the the ten of swords here with both of these. They died when they were younger. You don't know this. And somebody raised you. Whoever your parents were, they were wealthy. Your father was especially wealthy. And there was something left for you. And this woman left you out of the code, left you out in the code your whole entire life. You may not even know that your parents died in an accident. You may not even, they may have told you like your parents, you know, may your, may your mom left, maybe they maybe you, maybe. What did, what, did, what did they tell you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Lying about your age. There could be some issues with your identity. Somebody's about to come clean though. So when I say communication from a king of pentacles, hermit, an investigator, somebody like that. There's something that you're about to find out here. I'm getting God bumps everywhere, you guys. Okay, let me just see. And see, people, people, people think like that, like, well, that's kind of that's kind of odd. Like a plane crash. Come on, Savage. No. I grew up, one of my sister's best friends when I was growing up. Her parents died in a plane crash when she was younger. I remember that. I remember the story about it. So that does happen, you know. Let's get another card here. <clears throat> Whoa. Throat chakra. <coughs> Whoa. Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, please. The Nine of Pentacles to the full. Oh shit. That's too many cards. But nine nine, I'm telling you, we keep I keep noticing nine nine. And the other what was that? Nine 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 again? No, just nine nine. Okay, so let's the nine of pentacles to the full. Somebody lied to you about how your parents died. They and 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 I and I'm and I'm picking up on the fact they died together. And it was very it was like an accident. The eight of wands to the ten of it fell right behind the ten of swords here. They died and they died. They had a very not to be insensitive, but they had a like a very kind of quick death. A car accident or a plane crash. Take energy or retinate. We got the nine of pentacles here to the full. The 
the six of wands here. I feel like <clears throat> you ran away from home or maybe there was, since you've been like an adult, you know, nine of, the nine of pentacles talks about being alone, being on your own, being, being by yourself. Now nine of pentacles does talk about being a single, single self-sufficient, independent and abundant. <clears throat> but there's something here about chasing the white rabbit with the fool here and then being unsuccessful. So you, there could be something that you ran off towards. I heard like a dream to be, maybe you wanted to be like a, I don't know, whoever you are out there. I feel like this is just context here. Let me get a couple of more cards here. But there was something that was, that, that, that was fed. That maybe, maybe you've had like a bunch of false starts, a failure to launch kind of energy. Like you just couldn't, you couldn't get anything to take off. Uh, what have I realized about in the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Whoever this person is, man. I don't know, man. Judgment. Weighing of the heart. It's in the upright. You have a very good heart. Okay? You're a good-hearted person. Okay? I feel like I'm hearing you say that. Like, why nothing? Why doesn't anything work out for me? Okay? Three of Cups. To the Four of Cups. Nobody's helping you. These friends, the three of cups here talks about <clears throat> you might have been left out of celebrations. I don't know, man. You just you seem like you might just be alone right now. OK, the four of cups here, you're being like left out of shit. You could have literally have I mean, there's three sisters here. Wasn't it Cinderella and her three ugly, funky ass stepsisters or your step or the, the wicked stepmother and the two sisters? It's like, yeah, it's just kind of like you. You got a good heart. And these people just left you. They just, it's cold. I'm picking up on coldness. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, check it out. Like, like they drink, look, they drink they shit and put your shit way up there where you can't even reach it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you got leftovers. It's like you got leftovers. Oh, yo, shit. Yeah, this is like a Cinderella story again, except it's a lot more and more, okay? The nine of, here we go with that nine again, nine of wands in the reverse with the king of wands. You could have been in some type of abusive relationship here. You might have just recently left an abusive relationship and you needed some help and these people didn't help you. That could also be very significant as well. Yeah, death. Something came to a massive end here. I heard a massive end. You could have almost died at the hands of this man. Or a woman. I mean, taking your right name. I'm just going off of what's on the cards, you know? You could have recently, a King of Wands energy, you could have just recently suffered <clears throat> the Queen of Wands. There we go. There is something here about death in this couple. Now, the Queen of Wands did come out in the reverse, but, you know... <clears throat> Did the lady that raised you just die? Did she, she was married? She was married? Maybe her husband's still alive? Or maybe they're both dead? Maybe that's the reason why you're about to receive some type of communication. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This Queen of Wands woman that raised you, would it be this Empress in the reverse? She just died or will be dying? Nope. Yep, the star in the reverse. She definitely kicked the bucket or is about to or she suffered or she's or she's been sick or maybe she's she's sick. She was sick. Ooh. That 11-11 is significant. You, you're about to receive something here. OK. Man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This truly, this truly is uh, a time of awakening for people. It just truly is. It is. I mean, the things that people are waking up to, the King of Swords here. The things that people are waking up to here, that's a that's a yes. Something's being, I don't know. I feel I clarify the Queen, the King of Swords, please. Because we got the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of truth coming out to you. A lot of truth. The King of Swords represents to me like a justice system energy as well. No. Nope. 
I don't know why I'm pick feeling like the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. The Ten of <laughs> Y'all, the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? of pentacles there is what is this shit the three of pentacles to the empress in the reverse again to the ace of wands to the magician to temperance to the tower to the nine of swords wow These people are not your family. They're not your family at all. This is the truth. This, these people were not your family. And they received, this empress received a big ass ace of pentacles on your behalf. Spirit says that's the truth here. Mm -hmm. But she lied. Manipulated something here. Manipulated you, Earth Angel. We got this tower in the reverse here. So there's a, there's a tower that's about to fall here. Or maybe she manipulated you or she manipulated something here queen of wands in the reverse this person was doing some witchcraft manipulation witchcraft over you kept you in your head tower in the reverse i feel like she was doing manipulate because she, she didn't want this tower to fall but she's gone now let me get a let me get a let me get a uh, final message for the collective here okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna this is sad but, you know, we go through these things, you guys. I, I can't, you know, that's... If there's nothing else that gets me through uh, my days while I'm going through the same warfare, the same kind of things, being in that uh, sometimes very dark place, is that I can't be going through this for nothing. Like there has to be some reason, there has to be purpose behind it. If that helps. I'm sorry, whoever you are, I had to go through this, you know. Get some different cards out here. What's the final message here? Somebody psychic in this bitch. You're getting you're about to receive a windfall of money. Legacy money. Money that belongs to you from your parents. This money has been hidden from you. You're about to receive some 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 this whoever it is from this woman who passed away and what these people did to keep your money. Yeah, three of pentacles in the reverse here. Yeah. Somebody looked into this shit for you. Somebody's been looking for you, okay? Yeah, again, the tower in the reverse. This hasn't happened yet, but expect it to with the 111 here. Somebody looked into these people. I don't know. Don't ask me how. We're not going to go into it. Just know if this story resonates with you, we'll get some initials out here and get a state card, and then uh, I'll let you guys go. And this is probably it for me for today. Unless the divine says you got to go back. Um, but this is... 
that plane crash, man, an accident or a plane crash, I'm telling you, is very significant here. Um, so pay attention, you know, if, if that hit, if that hit. I keep telling you, somebody's about to come clean. Somebody's about to come clean to you. This came, this came out earlier. Somebody's about to come clean to you about this whole situation, okay? I'm looking for the initial cards here. Here they go. Let's get let's get three initials out. Well, let's get six. Let's just get, no, we're going to see how it's going to come out. Y L D G. Let's see G Y G. O Go. Okay. V. Oh, what you do you see that? F <clears throat> Q. M, May, May, the name May could be significant or the month of May could be very significant here. Fay, F-A-Y, Fam, F-A-M, G-O-V, something about the government here, okay? <laughs> I see fag out here. <laughs> you could be a homosexual, I don't know. Something, let's see, of May, of May, of May, of May. Something about May. Somebody's birthday could be the something of May or the, I don't know. We got yam out here, okay? Voya. What's Voya? Isn't that a, 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 a what's Voya? Voya, Voya, Voya. You could be going on a voyage, V-O, yeah, White Rabbit. You're about to go on some type of voyage, too. No, not voyage, Dwayne. Financial plan, invest. I'm telling you, protect. It says, Voya Financial Plan, invest, protect. You have some type of trust fund that you're about to receive some information about. These people probably could have been looking for you as of May. Maybe as of May, maybe sometime in May, this is when you were supposed to receive another disbursement. This has been being hidden from you. You're about to find out. OG, your parents could be an OG. One of your parents could have been an OG. You feel me? say what the fuck did i say from the very beginning in georgia north carolina and georgia are very significant to this download somebody's parent i'm hearing either it was a plane crash it was either a plane crash or a car accident is what i'm hearing okay damn Dwayne. damn 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 keep that to myself Virginia's out here as well but North Carolina I said it earlier in Georgia <clears throat> I'm gonna get you a, a angel whispers card and then that's the end of it somebody's parents died in a plane crash or a car accident an accident uh, doesn't have to be a, a plane crash but definitely an accident both of your parents did they lied to you about that shit yeah they did whoever this lady is your family Okay, fuck it, I'll say it. <clears throat> so, I, you know, there was a moment where, it was a moment in time where I would research a lot of different things. And I'm not saying that this has anything to do with me, but you know how certain messages, when we, as a tarot card reader, somebody was talking about this the other day. A lot of our energy, what makes, our, what makes the way we deliver messages so relatable is things about based upon our own experience. And us being a part of the collective, 
we all are healing together and moving together and get and finding out uh, things about ourselves through our own through our through the experiences of others through these messages. You feel me? So I just remembered something here. So this this story here. I mean, take energy as it resonates, you know. I mean, and let's just face it. If somebody could sit in front of this camera and pull cards and they not know the story's theirs and you figure it out, it's yours. That's also something else to be watching. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know why people are always like, no, there's a difference between somebody using, using, using the, I mean, people can do what they want to do, but I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not sitting here pulling cards, hoping to, hoping to get the answers I need for myself. I don't come out here to do that. If they come out during the cards, Hey, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? But so Anybody that reads cards out there, if people try to say, oh, you're just, you're just telling your story, blah, 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 fuck them. Who do, what do they know? They, you know, they're just mad. They're just mad because they can't see people do all this talking. And if they do this, then maybe they would be able to find the answers that they're looking for instead of telling people how to read cards and what should come out of their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Somebody put underneath the comment yesterday, I should uh, stop using the Lord's name in vain. I don't, you know, again, it's one of those things where. You too busy trying to tell me how to talk and worried about my relationship with the Most High. You, you, you're doing, you're doing, you maybe you should, maybe you should stop worried about what I'm saying and maybe you shouldn't be watching. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what I'm saying. It's just you're gonna get a lot of people for anybody that's new on this, like maybe in the dark night of the soul, coming out of the dark night of the soul, maybe hasn't even approached the dark night of the soul. What you're gonna know is this: you're gonna have a lot of opposition coming from places and people that you never even thought it would come from. From perfect strangers, you know what I'm saying. A lot of you, a lot of the soulless and a lot of the comforts you're gonna find are from people that are going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing that you have or will be going through. Somebody's about to go on a voyage. You're gonna be moving, going on a voyage, whoever you are. So, I was researching. A couple of years ago, I was just looking up stuff about my name because then I started to have questions about things in my family and it's no longer there. I can't find it for I can't find it anywhere. But there was somebody named Dwayne Lamar Bowdry. Who died in a who died in a, a, a car accident in Florida, not too far away from Gainesville, Gainesville, Florida, somewhere around there. He died in a car accident um, a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah and you know in the in the in the thing about it is is that um i want to say he died he like he died before i was even born but i had heard that i was named after an uncle of mine and my 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 dad my dad did, did not have a brother named, my dad did not have a brother named Dwayne at all. No, uh-uh, no he didn't. He just didn't. He might have had an uncle named that. Maybe that's the uncle I was named after. My grand, so that would so that would mean that that would be like my grandfather's brother. Which would be still be my uncle. Huh. The beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek. Reconnect today. Yep, go outside, get yourself grounded because you're going to need it, whoever you are. I feel like we can all do this. Oh, calm down, cat. It's just wind. All right, Dale, that's the end of this here message. This is a lot, you know. It gets Goya, Goya seasoning. You could really like Goya seasoning. Okay. The sazon. Yeah, I like I like that shit. Okay. Use it to my fried chicken. Okay. Uh it gets better, fam. For all of us. Friday. F R I. 
I keep saying, I, I said it earlier in, in the chat, uh, in Joey's chat earlier, it feels like a Friday. Something could be happening on Friday for you. Maybe these answers are coming to you on Friday or by Friday. I don't know. You know, that's that's the hardest thing is when you know something and you know it for fact, but you don't have the proof. You have to I, you surrender it to the you surrender it to God and keep, you know, the faith without works is dead. So why you put your faith in God that you're going to, to receive answers or resolve or conclusions to very difficult chapters of your life or to things that, uh, you know, plague your mind and have keeping you stuck. Give it to God. The answers you seek will find you. Maybe by Friday. You grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. Thank you for watching. I love you. Talk to you later. To the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.